Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'll teach you a shortcut method to divide numbers by 19. For example, what is the decimal expansion of 4 over 19? To figure it out, we'll use a trick of repeatedly dividing by 2. To get the first decimal point, we take our numerator of 4 and we divide by 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2, and that means 2 is the first value of the decimal. To get the next value in our decimal expansion, we take 2 divided by 2. That gives us a result of 1. So that means the next value in our decimal expansion is 1. We again use our trick. We're going to take our result of 1 and again divide it by 2. So 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0, but now we have a slight complication where we have a remainder of 1. When we have a remainder, we need to slightly modify our procedure. We need to join the remainder with the result to get the new value to divide by. So we take 1 and 0 to get the new value of 10. Mathematically, this is the same thing as saying take 10 times the remainder and add the result. So 10 times 1 is equal to 10 plus 0 is equal to 10. So to get the fourth spot in our decimal expansion, we're going to take 10 divided by 2. This is equal to 5 with the remainder of 0. If you have a remainder of 0, you can effectively ignore it because 10 times 0 is equal to 0. So to get the next value in our decimal expansion, we take 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 2 with the remainder of 1. Now we need to adjust the next value we divide by. We take our remainder of 1, put on the digit 2 to get 12. So we take 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6, and a remainder of 0. We can repeat this process to figure out more and more spots of our decimal expansion. But what we figured out is that these values of our results, 2, 1, 0, 5, 2, and 6, this is the decimal expansion of 4 over 19, 0 0.210526. And it's pretty interesting that we can figure out how to divide by 19 just by repeatedly dividing by 2. You can check on your calculator this is the correct result. I'm going to show you another example. Let's say we want to divide 12 by 19. We have this process of repeatedly dividing by 2. And in order to make it a little easier, I'm going to write the result as remainder result because the two-digit number, when we combine the remainder and the result, is the next value to divide by. So to get started, we take 12 divided by 2. This is going to be 6 with the remainder of 0. So I'm going to write this as a remainder of 0 and then 6. So the new value we divide by is already written as the two-digit number is 0, 6. So we take 6 divided by 2. That's going to be a remainder of 0 and a result of 3. So now you can see why we're writing it this way. This 0, 3 becomes the next thing we want to divide by. So we take 3 divided by 2 is 1 with the remainder of 1. This 1 with the remainder of 1 becomes 11. 11 divided by 2 is 5 with the remainder of 1. Now we can just read off that we want to take 15 divided by 2, which will be 7 with the remainder of 1. We can then read off we want to take 17 divided by 2, which is 8 with the remainder of 1. So you can use the shorthand to figure out the decimal expansion of 12 over 19. We read off the second numbers. This is 631578. And you can check on your calculator. This is, in fact, 12 divided by 19. So it's a pretty neat trick. If you want to treat this video as a puzzle, you can try and figure out why this method works. Or if you're curious, you can keep watching, and I'm going to present a proof of why this method allows you to divide numbers by 19. So here's the proof. Let's say we want to take x divided by 19. We'll assume x here is a whole number, but algebraically everything we're doing here is going to hold even for any value of x. So we can write x over 19 as x divided by 20 minus 1. We now divide each spot, we divide the numerator and the denominator by 20. So that becomes x over 20 divided by 1 minus 1 over 20. 
Now, why did I do this? The reason is I wanted to make the denominator 1 minus 1, you know, I want the fraction 1 divided by 1 minus 1 over 20. Because there's a special result that if you have a geometric series with the common ratio r, the sum of that infinite series is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus r. So now I'm using it in reverse. I'm going to take 1 divided by 1 minus 20, 1 over 20 and expand that out so that we have the sum of terms with a common ratio of 1 over 20. So that means we're multiplying x over 20 by an infinite series that starts with 1 and has a common ratio of 1 over 20. I'll distribute that 1 over 20 so we have x multiplied by an infinite series of 1 over 20 with the common ratio of 1 over 20. Now what is 20? You know 20 is equal to 2 times 10. So we can split this out and saying to divide by 20 we could take that as two steps. We can divide it by 2 and then we can divide it by 10. So here we have the expansion that we want. If you look at each term in the geometric series we're dividing by 2 and then dividing by 10. So the first term x over 2 divided by 10 that gives us the first value of our decimal expansion. To get the next value we then take x over 2 divided by 2 again which gives us x over 2 squared and then we need to divide that by 10. So that second term in our expansion is going to give us the next value of the decimal. So this is how we're repeatedly dividing again by 2 to get the new decimal place. Each decimal place is the value for the next power of 10 and you can clearly see the numerators in each time we're dividing by 2 again. Now what happens if you have a remainder? Well as you can see each term is going to be one tenth of the previous term. So if you have a remainder of, you know, that's going to add 10 times to the next fraction. When you get a common rate, you know, denominator you're gonna have to multiply that remainder by 10 so you can add it to the next fraction. So this is how we get the procedure where we repeatedly divide by 2 is how we can figure out the decimal expansion for any number over 19. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. This trick about dividing by 19 is actually included in my book, The Best Mental Math Tricks. I've provided a link to that book and all my books in the video description.